Okay, so on to question six. Is one gram equal to one milliliter? So one gram is a unit of mass and one milliliter is a unit of volume. So we can say that one gram is not equal to one mil since one gram shows mass and one mil is volume. So it all basically depends on um, the density of your material. So let, let's say we had six grams of rocks is equal to like, like if you were to fill up a 10 milliliter cup, So 6 grams of rocks takes up like 10 mils, let's say. But let's say we have 6 grams of like feathers. You would need way more feathers to get 6 grams. Let's say it take you need like a whole 2 liter volume of feathers. So that that's the reason why 1 gram isn't equal to 1 mil. Uh, the only time where it does is uh, for pure water. So water has a density of one gram per milliliter. So we can confidently say that one gram of water is equal to 5 mils of water. And that is the only case where 1 gram will equal 1 mil. So if it has a density of 1. But let's see what the junior tutor said. No. <laughs> gram is a unit of mass, while milliliter is a unit for the volume of liquid. Mass and volume are related in terms of density where density is directly proportional to mass and inversely proportional to volume. Density equals mass over volume. The only time 1 gram is equal to 1 mils is when the density is 1, which is only the case for pure water. Yep, so the solution is correct. Thank you.